welcome to the next session of ANSYS APDL. In this session, we are solving a numerical for simply supported beam which is subjected to uniformly varying load. We'll first go to preferences, structural, OK, preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete, add, beam, to node, OK, close this. Then I'll go to material properties. Material model, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. I'll give the material properties as 2E5 and Poisson's ratio as 0.3. Close this. Then I'll go to section, beam, common section. Say the breadth is 10 and the height is 10. Okay. Next, I'll go to modeling, create key points. In active CS, say the first node is at 0, 0, 0. Node 2 is say at 200 mm. Node 3 is say at 400 mm. Node 4 is say at 600 mm. Okay. I'll go to lines. Straight line. I'll choose both the points such that I can form the line by joining it. After modeling, I'll go to meshing, size control, manual size, global size. Say the number of divisions are 10. Okay. Then I'll go to mesh, lines, pick all and the meshing is done. I'll go to plot controls, numbering. I want to see the element numbers. See how many elements are formed over here. Next, I'll go to load. Define load, apply structural displacement on key point. On the first key point, I will apply fixed. And on the second key point that is over here, that is the last key point, I am going to apply, either you can give it fixed or you can give it a roller. So, UY is 0. Now, I want to apply UVL. So, I will go to pressure on beam. Now, I will select that portion of beam on which I want to apply UVL. Okay. Now, the value is applied in the Y direction. The variation will be say from 0 to 30. Okay. So this is how the UVL is applied on the beam portion that I have selected. Next, I'll go to solution, solve, current LS. Okay. The solution is done. I'll go to general post processing, plot results. Deform shape, deform plus undeformed shape is what I want to see. This is what I can see here. Next, I'll go to contour plot, nodal solution, degree of freedom, displacement vector sum. Again, I'll choose deform shape with undeformed model. Okay, so this is how I can see the deformation. I'll go to nodal solution and choose stress to check my one minus stress on the beam. That's how it is. I can go for element solution, stress, 1 minus stress. That can be seen. You can also choose deformed plus undeformed value. If I go to list results and go to nodal solution and see the degree of freedom, I can see the listed values of degree of freedom for each node that has been created. Similarly, you can also see the Elemental solution if you want. So this is how you are solving a numerical of simply supported beam which is subjected to uniformly varying load. I hope you have understood the procedure. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session. Thank you.